Did you know that 100 million years ago Antarctica was not covered with ice sheets? Do you know how many people were born on this land till now? What if I say in Antarctica the night lasts more than 24 hours long? Can you survive at minus 133 degrees Fahrenheit temperature? To know these all questions and many more facts watch this video till the end. This is today's episode of Thinkable on Antarctica. Antarctica is the Earth's southernmost continent. It contains the geographic South Pole and is situated in the Antarctic region of the Southern Hemisphere. The total area of Antarctica is 5.5 million square miles. The Antarctic ice sheet is the single biggest mass of ice in the world and can sometimes be up to 4 miles thick. The continent as a whole contains about 90% of the planet's freshwater ice and around 70% of the total freshwater on Earth. No humans live in Antarctica permanently. There are 30 different countries that operate 80 research stations situated around the continent. The human inhabitants who occupy these facilities number around 4,000 to 5,000 during the summer months and only 1,000 during the long, harsh winters. However, only plants and animals that can live in the cold live there. The animals include penguins, seals, nematodes, sheathbill and krills. The people who travel to or live in Antarctica fall into two main groups, those who live and work on scientific research stations or bases, and others are tourists. The absolute coldest place on Earth is in Antarctica, where scientists at the National Snow and Ice Data Center used satellites to measure the lowest recorded temperature ever at minus 133.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Humans could survive in those kinds of temperatures, but only for about 2 to 3 minutes. As Antarctica has no permanent residence, and contains research stations and field camps that are staffed seasonally or year-round, and former whaling settlements. Till now 11 babies have been born in Antarctica. In 1984, Juan Pablo Camacho was born at the Presidente Eduardo Fry Montalva base, becoming the first Chilean born in Antarctica. Antarctic science has also revealed much about the impact of human activity on the natural world. The discovery in 1985 by scientists at British Antarctic Survey of the Hole in the ozone layer above Antarctica revealed the damage done to the Earth's atmosphere by man-made chemicals. As well as being the world's most important natural laboratory, the Antarctic is a place of great beauty and wonder. Its frozen wastes have fired the public imagination for generations, and around 30,000 tourists now visit the Antarctic each year to experience what life is like in the Earth's last great wilderness. However, Antarctica is fragile and increasingly vulnerable. Antarctica is, on average, the windiest place on Earth. Scientists exploring this southerly landmass have reported wind speeds that have reached up to 200 miles per hour. The Ross Ice Shelf, a floating tongue of ice that extends off the continent's main landmass, encompasses more than 510,000 square kilometers and is the largest ice shelf that has ever been discovered.
While Antarctica is covered in ice, it actually holds one of the world's biggest mountain ranges, the Gambertsev Mountains, which stretch out more than 1,200 kilometers. Because of the Earth's tilt, the sun does not rise in Antarctica from the vernal equinox to the autumnal equinox, which means the continent remains dark throughout the entire winter season. Conversely, during the summer months the sun does not set in Antarctica, which means it actually receives more sunlight than the equator during that time frame. Antarctica has 20 airports, but there are no developed public access airports or landing facilities. No one country owns Antarctica, instead it is governed by the Antarctic Treaty System which sees a number of countries running the continent as a condominium. There is no Antarctic currency. However, if you visit Port Lacroix in the Antarctic Peninsula, US dollars, pound sterling and euro are accepted, as are Visa and MasterCard where your transaction will be charged in US dollars. There is no rain in Antarctica because cold air cannot hold as much water vapor as warm air, so precipitation is less likely. Oceans store heat so they often create milder temperatures and increased rainfall. However, as Antarctica is such a large land mass, only the very edges of the continent experience this effect. The longest night in Antarctica as the polar night occurs in the northernmost and southernmost regions of the Earth when the night lasts for more than 24 hours. This occurs only inside the polar circles. Antarctica hasn't always been covered with ice, the continent lay over the South Pole without freezing over for almost 100 million years. Then, about 34 million years ago, a dramatic shift in climate happened at the boundary between the Eocene and Oligocene epochs. The warm greenhouse climate, stable since the extinction of the dinosaurs, became dramatically colder, creating an «ice house» at the poles that has continued to the present day. So yeah, this is all today's episode and we will come back with another interesting topic. Hit like, share and comment below if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more interesting content.